this video, we pit Philips Sonicare against Bronze Oral B. Now, I've been using Son the Philips Sonicare for over 10 years, and I really love it, and I've been happy with it. Um, but there has been some things that I haven't been happy with, or one thing in particular. On the handle, uh, I, I keep having to buy these over and over, and what happens is inside here, this piece inside here that makes it vibrate, somehow it just kind of breaks, and it'll still turn on, but if you do any pressure on it, like when you're brushing your teeth, if there's any pressure on it, what'll happen is it just won't vibrate. Uh, you can see right there, you, maybe you kind of hear it. Uh, it just breaks inside, so basically what you have to do is you have to buy another handle. So I've been buying handles after handles year after year, so maybe Sonicare didn't think it was a flaw because they keep selling more of them and they're making more money. I don't know. I was very disappointed with that portion of it. I was actually looking for another handle, and I was reading on some of the Amazon reviews, and in one particular review, one of the persons said, hey, you should really get a brawn. They actually clean your teeth better, the Oral-B. So I was like, well, you know, I've seen the will be a long time ago and I think it was one of the battery models uh, that you put a regular battery in it and it was uh, didn't have any power so I think I had tried it and I just didn't like it I was like man it doesn't have any power at all you know you just might as well be brushing them with the regular toothbrush I went ahead and revisited and looked online and then they have the newer ones which do have lithium ion batteries they look like they have tons of power so it's basically like a like a Philips Sonicare but what it does is it rotates and pulsates and osculates. So instead of just vibrate, basically instead of just vibrating like the Sonicare, it not only vibrates, but it rotates back and forth. And you can see it has dual action bristles. I went ahead and bought one and I have to say uh, bye bye to Philips Sonicare. Totally love this new toothbrush. My teeth and gums feel so much better. I can't believe I used this one for that long. I think Philips Sonicare, uh, you know, has been resting on their laurels and making all this money and, and just doing the same toothbrush. And, and meanwhile, Braun has really stepped up their game with the Oral-B. And really, the Oral-B was actually invented by this guy named Hudson in 1950. And then Procter & Gamble eventually bought them out. And the B stands for like Oral-B. The B actually stands for a like Oral Brush. This is an amazing, I just already love the design. If you can see right here how it's made, see how sturdy that is. And so this right here actually just tur uh, rotates and vibrates. As you can see in this one, um, it's not going to put pressure on the head. It's putting, when you press against your mouth, it's actually putting pressure on this plastic piece that, that's not going to mess up the internals. So I think this is a great design. Uh, another thing that I love about this toothbrush is the small head. And it's, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not, but it's actually better because it actually gets each individual tooth. So if you look at it, it gets right up inside the gum line and then you can get all around the tooth and especially in the far back of your teeth. Uh, it gets way back there in the back where this one has a hard time getting your back teeth behind there. If you're looking at getting a toothbrush and, and on the fence and not knowing which one to try, definitely give the Oral-B a shot. I mean, it is incredible. Um, and you can see how it's rotating. I like the sound of it. It just feels like it's, my teeth feel so much better. And my, like I said, my gums feel so much better using this. This is heads and tails above this. You can actually look and there's some studies that have been done. And in one of the studies that showed that this toothbrush, the osculating and rotating does substantially better than the Sonicare is what it said. And I believe it. So goodbye Sonicare. If you have any questions or anything, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. If you are using the Oral-B or if you're still sticking with Sonicare, the Oral-Bs come with different models. They have the Pro 1000, which this is, and it's very basic. You push the button, it turns on, and you push the button again, it turns off, just like I like it. I don't like all the fancy features, but some people do. Then they have the uh, Pro 3000, which I believe has a pressure sensitivity. So if, you, if it feels too much pressure, it'll, uh, I think it beeps or it kind of uh, turns itself off a little bit. And then they have the higher models than that, which I think they Wi-Fi, they connect to your phone and all this. I don't know. I find that all very gimmicky. I don't, I don't have time to do that. I just have the time to turn it on, brush my teeth, and then go. Another thing I like about the Oral-B is it seems like it gets in between your teeth better. Like I was talking about before, like here's your teeth, uh, you'll see the Sonicare. It's almost like a toothbrush. See how it, it kind of just goes over the top? Seems like it, um, it's on one tooth and it's on the other tooth at the same time. So it doesn't seem like it gets in between your teeth as good. This, with the smaller head, seems like it gets, like you do one tooth at a time and it gets way up inside there. Um, 
I just think it does an incredible job. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, check out the Oil B. Get one. I, I, if you're using a Sonic here, get the Oil B. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching the video. This is a TKO for the Oral B.